Good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of Professional Development Committee and Tax Force for Empowering Young CMS of the Western India Regional Council, the Institute of Cost Accountants of India, I welcome all of you for the today's webinar on internal audit, the rising profession and the roadmap to becoming a CIA. Our today's speaker is Mr. Mikundan KV. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Also, thank, thank you, sir. Also, CME Chittaranjan Chattopadhyay, sir, Central Council member, the Institute of Cost Accountants of India is also present. CME Chittaranjan Chattopadhyay, sir, is a fellow member of the Institute of Cost Accountants of India and associate member of Indian Institute of Banking and Finance, holding qualification from CIPFA, London, as a chartered public finance accountant. He has 38 years of experience of working in commercial banks in different capacities. He has brought out several publications on banking for ICMA, which include three editions on rigs based internal audit of commercial banks, guidance notes on concurrent audit of commercial bank, internal audit of treasury function of commercial banks, Add memory on lending to MSME sector, including restructuring of MSME credit and adds memory on infrastructure financing. At present, he is a central council member of the Institute of Cost Accountants of India and chairman of Banking Financial Services and Insurance Board, BFSIB, and chairman of Internal Auditing and Assurance Standard Board, IAASB, ICMA. He is a member of SAFA NPO and Cooperative committees. Welcome, sir. Now, now I request, sir, to kindly start. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Yeah. Very good afternoon to everybody who are here. Especially, I am really thankful to the chairman, the young chairman of uh, WRC, uh, CMA, uh, Chaitanya Mohir and also the chairman of vice chairman and chairman professional development committee of ICMA WRC, Simi Arindam Goswami, and uh, of course the honorary secretary and chairman task force for empowering young CMAs, ICMA WRC, CMA Mir Vyas, and treasurer ICMA WRC, CMA Nantisha, and other council members, all the attendees my, uh, I have, uh, we have with us here, what CMA Dibindu Roy, HUD, and the secretary of the BFSI board, and of course, all of the officials of WRC and respected members, ladies and gentlemen. Today, this program actually is a, I understand that it's a really a sensitization program for the members as a whole for the students even. When the Institute of Internal Auditors, you know, CEO, Mr. Mukundam, Mukundam has come here in our uh, platform and he will be elucidating the various issues of the internal audit, which is the rising profession and the roadmap to become a, you know, CIA. Actually, certified internal auditor is a one of the very prestigious assignment as very prestigious professional qualifications. And being CMA, we are already, we are having our exposure in the internal audit. But you know, digital transformation has had a significant impact on internal auditing as of today, as it has done many other aspects of uh, modern business. And uh, one of the primary ways in which digital transformations, in fact, they are uh, uh, having this total, you know, change in the gamut of this internal audit today. And here our member has to get um, play a very big role. And uh, as you appreciate with the increasing digitizations of business processes, auditors must work with a much larger volume of data than they did in the past. This data can come from a variety of sources, including social media, mobile devices, and the Internet of Things. As a result, auditors must be skilled in working with data analytics and visualization tools to make sense of information. And uh, we, have, we have also learned from various sources and, you know, for the various successful, you know, internal auditors, when we are interacting with them, we have found that another way in which digital transformation has impacted internal auditing is by increasing the speed and complexity of business processes. With real-time data analytics and automated workflows, businesses can now operate much faster than 
they could in the past. This requires auditors to be more agile and adaptable as they must be able to keep up with the pace of change and respond quickly to new risks and challenges. And if we, if we, if we think in the final version of this whole internal audit in the regime of these digital transformations, it has created new opportunities for internal auditors to add value to their organizations by leveraging digital technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotic process automations. Auditors can now automate many of their routine tasks, freeing up time to focus on higher value analysis and strategic planning. Additionally, digital technologies also can help auditors identify and prioritize areas of risk more effectively, leading to better decision making and improve business outcomes. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important session for all of us. We will be learning from Mr. K.V. Mukundan, who is one of the doyen of this in, uh, internal audit arena. And uh, from the East of Cost Accountants of India, from our internal audit standards board, we are in, keeping in touch with the Institute of Internal Auditors. We met Mr. Mukunda's office. We went to Mr. Mukunda's office. In fact, we will be looking for, and we have already had a, a first round discussions with him, so that our cost, uh, CMAs can get, uh, you know, the, you know, uh, the uh, their entry to this uh, particular CIA would be more and more faster. Because already as a CMA, we are, our syllabus and others, we, you, as you know, there's a huge changes in the syllabus in, in 2022 we have already done. And uh, already we are having many of the uh, issues, uh, many of the in our institute's syllabus. And uh, for your information, the our institute is perhaps the only institute which has come out with the risk based internal auditing commercial banks fourth edition from the internal audit standard board. We have also have many other internal audit documents on the uh, say, sector specific documents. And uh, of course, our uh, internal audit standard board is looking for many other documents during the coming periods. You'll be having all these documents. We are uh, on the, we are actually looking for your participations. We want that all the members who are here with the, today, they can please send in volition in their, you know, in a, voluntarily they can write to our ISB so that we can uh, get their participations either as a, a resource person or in the holding some webinars because i know our members are really contributing to the industries both public sector and private sector in a big way as internal auditor only my request to you kindly co connect with our isb so that this isb can uh, facilitate their, their further functioning with the help of your wisdom your knowledge and i'm really grateful to uh, this uh, WI Western India Region Council uh, for uh, giving me an opportunity to express some of my views. And I'm sure in future, we shall be having such more programs and we shall be able to have some physical program also with the Institute of Internal Auditors. That is also I'm craving for in Mumbai. Let us see and let us hope for the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our today's speaker is Mr. Mukundan KV. He is a chartered accountant, certified public accountant USA, certified information system auditor CISA, and certified internal auditor CIA, which uh, with almost four decades of experience in the area of internal audit, risk management, and related areas. He took over the responsibility as a chief executive officer of the Institute of Internal Auditors India on July 23. Before that, he worked as a global chief assurance and risk executive of All Cargo Group, which has operation in 180 countries and 300 offices for about 13 years. Some of the other companies where he worked are Wine World India Limited, Bombay Dining, AFL Private Limited, Deloitte's US Operations, and so on. He was honored as a chief minister's fellow in January 2002 for suggestions on the betterment of governance. Under his leadership, All Cargo Group received several awards from ICICA Lombard CNB CTV 18 in the area of risk management. He is one of the contributors amongst 14 chief internal auditors for the book Best Practices by Leading Chief Audit Executive Making a Difference, published by Alters Kulvas India Private Limited. He held various positions in professional bodies as a vice president, secretary, and treasurer of IIA Mumbai. 
secretary and chairman of the bhopal branch of the institute of chartered accountants of india member of managing committee new delhi and mumbai chapter of isaca information system auditors and control association of india convener of ica study circle member of governing council of info rmn ext informal association of risk management professionals welcome sir now i request sir to kindly start the session sir so thank you very much and uh, the madam for the warm introduction and uh, thank you chitranjan ji for joining this you know you have taken all the time uh, you know from uh, so we met about two or three months ago so i am very happy that you remember me <laughs> in my name and even uh, because for the other audience so ms chitranjan ji and uh, abhijit goswami uh, visited our office <coughs> we spent some considerable time to how further how we can strengthen the relationship between the iia and icma so that work is going on parallel so there is no issue around that so we we have our minds have already uh, you know the memorandum of understanding is there between the minds at this moment in time so how we can make it on documentation paper some work is in progress so that will happen so i, I am very happy that uh, so he has also uh because initially i thought that it is a wrc event so how he has to come for all these things but thank you very much for joining and very very warm welcome to all other ladies and gentlemen the members of the wrc for joining this uh, session so today's uh, session uh, <clears throat> you know they, as uh, madam has introduced me uh, I, i was prior to this i was a chief audit executive uh, and a chief risk officer so i can always uh you know i am also a cis we talked about so there are two three components in today's uh, topic of the the, uh, the the internal audit the rising profession and the road map to becoming cia so some of these topic particularly so if i break it first is i have to talk about internal audit then i have to talk about internal audit rising profession let me put it that way then i have to talk about the cia so cia means there are so two three multiple components are there there is one is what is iia yeah, then yeah. what is the examination ba- madam okay you are going to mute thank you so <clears throat> the the second and third component is about iia within iia itself you know there is a component leading the ca examination and other one is about our uh, iia itself so you will find all these things uh, so uh, about uh, internal audit as a profession if we want to talk probably we may need days together and months together so uh, uh, chitranjan ji has already talked about that a little bit uh, about the the, the current way of transformation of the internal audit he has already talked about that so i will only start with this. so this is a we we don't have many members that this it is not too large an audience so i am going to ask you some questions and i want everybody to unmute and talk about what is your opinion so this will be an interactive session okay and don't worry you know anyone some of you may not know the answer so on the internal audit i will spend about 5 minutes only not more than that and don't worry about this you don't know the answer which is okay because sometimes these are more these questions are asked for more for ice breaking purpose and uh, let me see how far uh, you know uh, this and so there, there is nothing called right and wrong answers on this uh, questions whatever i am asking so with that i would like to start this particular session and before that let me share my screen I hope everybody can see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. So thank you very much again, brother. So one of the question which I have at this particular moment in time, and I want everybody to speak on this. They can mute themselves and they can speak. Uh, all the participants don't worry about the right and wrong answers. So uh, the I I have two questions. One is about uh, where the internal audit profession has started. and when it was started so these are the two questions which i have okay uh, i i this i am getting into the the, the uh, this one uh, the, the the roots of this our internal audit profession and i want everybody to speak uh, so that you know i can listen to that and don't worry about you know right and wrong answers so when and where where it started and when it started i want everybody to speak 
because if you put it on the chat because I am on a slide scroll uh, slide mode, I may not be able to see it. Otherwise, I have to get out of the uh, screen sharing. I mean, uh, this uh, my sh uh, sharing of the screen and I, I can look at that as well. But I prefer the people to speak if that is OK. Actually, no idea, sir. Honestly so, speaking. Uh, where in the 19th, 20th century? In fact, it started long back when the merchants started, you know, verifying quantities and all that. But somewhere okay. in the 19th, 20th century, can we say that the some professional body came and, you know, we had some sort of uh, development in the profession? Right? Uh, 1920 is a correct answer. The answer what you talked about from the context of uh, how a professional body came. And uh, you were also uh, this one. You talked about merchants. So, uh, so can you just give an approximate ballpark uh, number? We, we, which century it is? It is. Uh, you don't have to know the number, the year specific year. At least which century it is? Whether uh, you will be able to say anything about that? Around 14th century or so. Okay. When there was uh, trading and uh, all that uh, started going on. Understood. Understood. So thank you very much for you to give the answer, to participate in this. I, am, I will get into the whether it is answers are correct or not correct slightly later. Uh, thank you very much for, you know, you you are the person, you are energized the audience. So I, I want others to speak because this is a post lunch session. I don't want anybody to sleep. So that is where the cold questions are coming. And uh, so people have to be alert. I am looking forward for answers from others. And I also, uh, Madam talked about the the, the uh, timings, but from where it was started, that is not yet, uh, uh, that is nobody has answered. From the uh, Roman territory, like uh, merchant trades over there. Yeah, so that is one of the answer. So let me, uh, I, I'm waiting for answers from everyone. One madam is speaking, which is fine. Absolutely, I'm very happy with her. But I I want everybody, all others to speak. And don't worry about the right, correctness of the answer. What happened? Nobody is everybody is sleeping after lunch. So no, sir, actually, we are uh, <laughs> uh, uh, aware of only applicability of internal audit in India. <laughs> so uh, no, no. honestly speaking, don't know from actually where and when it started. <laughs> Uh, so you know, no, I I get I get answer only just from one or two people. You know, if every twenty six or twenty seven or thirty people are joined, if everybody says that, uh, you know, I don't know, it is I have no problem, absolutely no problem. There is because these are not the questions which that you know I have not come prepared for. This. I did not share with you any syllabus. I will be coming with this, so you don't have to worry yeah. about the word answer. So I want everybody to speak. If everybody is not speaking, they are not part of the session. That is where my worry. So don't worry about the correctness of the answer. I want the answers whether when it has started, where it has started. The session has to be interactive for which I want everybody to speak. Is there anybody has mentioned anything on the chat box? I don't see you in chat. Also Mr. Mukundan, sir, yeah, generally yeah, we have seen, uh, generally we, we we know the history of audit, actually, the main audit, yeah. statutory audit. Uh, which yeah, yeah. Is like, uh, but uh, frankly speaking, we are not aware of the internal audit. We know the audit which uh, ultimately culminated into statutory audit. Where the uh, where an external independent person has to say check the records and all over, which dates back two centuries ago, but not yeah. sure about the internal audit. Okay, okay. I will give you the answers, but I am I am wanting somebody. Somebody has raised the hands, so let me ask that person who has raised the hands. Mr. Mukundan. Uh, Mr. Mukundan. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mukundan, since you have uh, 
evoked uh, this uh, you know session in a very beautiful way let me tell you once i read one uh, uh, internal auditing history evolution and uh, prospects and that was written by sridhar ramamurthy i remember that book it was mentioned 4000 bc also uh -huh. so naturally it, it it becomes a matter of you know rather a tremendous mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know sensation when you are asking this question because you know today's in this world i have started a digital transformation and 4000 <laughs> bc when the record keeping and other things were taken care of by the internal auditors so naturally mm -hmm. really uh, i uh, must give you profuse thanks please uh, that's a great uh, issue you have started with them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Bhagishri has raised her hand. Can you see where uh, Bhagishri? Can you respond? Hello. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I am. All. You are audible. Yes. Yes. Uh, sir, actually, Mr. Stranger, Dr. Padda, sir, they explain. Uh, history is definitely goes far long back. Uh, however, whatever exposure I had in my career. Based on that, I'd like to just to contribute the part. The ex in 2002, when the SOX Act came into existence in US, due to various uh, Enron and other companies uh, malfunctioning. So, uh, based on that, it made uh, various aspects of internal control over financial reporting mandatory, along with the management being responsible to ensure the internal controls are in place for the organization. And afterwards, uh, many other countries also implemented, India also implemented later that. So that much I know about this. Okay, th th thanks a lot for participating. The idea is that, uh, you know, at least we are participative. At least two, three people have participated. So now let me get to the answer for that. Where it has started and when it has started. And I will show you, uh, you know, the, the uh, slide relating to that, you know, which basically talks about the challenges of the auditor. So once you understand what are the challenges of the auditor, then you will automatically, uh, you know, come to know which period it has come and which country it has originated. OK, so and now again, I am sharing my screen. I closed it in between just to see that anybody has raised their hands so that, uh, that there is no more, uh, you know, uh, uh, this one suspense about this one. So, so the, this is the, the I hope I you know. I think you are not able to see my screen. Once again, I have to just hold on. So I hope again you can see my screen. And uh, so what is what I talked to you? So what is there in the next slide? So this I, I have shown this as a slide that you know it is challenges of the internal audit function. Okay. So this is from a book called Arthashastra. Arthashastra is written by Chanakya. Okay. And this has come around the time of before Christ 300. Okay. So BC 300 is a time around which this book is written. Now, he has also not taken from because these are not his own discovery or inventions from that particular point of view about the internal audit. OK, so he Arthashastra talks about the uh, entire uh, the, the, it, though it is Arthashastra in the literal meaning is about the financial uh, the, the economics. But he also has in the, his book, which is consisting of several parts, he has also covered the politics. He has also covered about the accounting in all these things he has talked about. So he is one of, one of the book. Uh, which is written about the internal audit and this is what is mentioned over there and those days bc means these are all the only kings there are no other uh, private entrepreneurs or other things and all these things were not very prevalent those days of course in the smaller scale it was there but uh, so when he has referred this particular statement we it has all referred about the government okay of course it covers the private as well so what he has mentioned just as it is difficult to know if a fish swimming in a water is also drinking the water, it is difficult to detect if officers appointed for carrying out the work are stealing the king's wealth. So the officers appointed for carrying out the works are the, the government officers, the government employees. Government employees, because they are it is the same like the fish in the water. Okay. So whether they are swimming for their own, they are taking the water, drinking the water for their own purposes, 
while manning the affairs of the king okay that is what it exists because they will they will get the opportunity to handle the cash and those days there was no banking activities and everything the risk of you know the malpractices and all these things were significantly higher there was no data analytics those days so every entry has to be everybody has to make a book entry so sampling was never possible because there was no automation rather sampling would not give you any results because every they can always you may find uh, because there are certain reasons why a sampling can be done but it was not possible because every entry is an individual entry and that is where it is so this indicates that the beginning of the inter internal audit profession rather there was no classification called statutory audit or internal audit in those days or internal tax audit or ifc or these days there was just one audit and audit was done for the king so that countries or finances are protected and whatever the are required are taken out so that's all what was the whole objective so we all should be proud of the fact that this profession has started from india okay so and uh, arthashastra a, a book it is when written by chanakya so he has also taken all these uh, from our vedas it is not from his own discovery or invention so this is all prescribed from manu manu from manu it's all is coming because that is where in which the vedas have started the 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 how the world took place the, the beginning of the world so from there itself the vedas are there and from vedas all these books uh, details are there so we all should be proud of the fact that the uh, internal audit as a profession has started from india and the the documentation which is currently available of the evidence to this is arthashastra so that is where it is about bc 300 which i am referring to do you considering his time at the same time you can always uh, you know uh, refer there may be many books it may be prior to this because uh, as chitranjan ji talked about that this may be bc 4000 so because the, these vedas are the, the mahabharata itself has ha happened about around bc 5000 so when it is uh, really rather bc 3000 i should say because that is currently what they are talking about the 5000 years so 2000 years are completed now after the the, the birth of the christ before the christ it is about 3000 so around 5000 years so bc 3000 should be the time and prior to that vedas are existing because the the the, the other dwapara yuga and all other things were there at that particular moment in time so originally all these things are coming from vedas and subsequently it is documented by chanakya and that is where uh, this is talking about so at least you know that we are the proud country from where we all belong to this is where the origin of the audit has started and uh, the documentation relating to this is available uh, in the uh, bc 300 and uh, so this is the only item which i wanted to talk to you about the internal audit so our subject of for the today is the 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 internal audit the rising profession no doubt about that it is a rising profession i don't want to talk about too much about the internal audit because most of you may be from the internal audit profession and otherwise also chitranjan ji has also talked about that but however if there are any specific questions relating to that absolutely i can answer because i have spent about four decades in the internal audit i have been eating drinking and sleeping with internal audit absolutely no issues i will be now coming to the topic of the the, the iia as an organization the institute of internal audit and i will also come to the caa examination how you can get into so both are taking to the profession of internal audit but at the same time at the q and a time if you have any questions relating to the internal audit i can always answer to that okay so on the iia as an organization because somebody one of the madam talked about that in early 1920s it has started so iia as an organization started somewhere in early 1941 as per the records which is available on the iia website and uh, that is where this is the only global organization in the area of internal audit there are many other local organizations uh, for example icai i am also a member of icai and icai is also doing something on the internal audit yeah, icma is also doing something on the internal audit there are many other accounting bodies rather across the globe all the accounting bodies the who are all members of the safa all of them are doing something or other relating to the internal audit but the only global body specializing in the internal audit keeping their the, the members all the global database uh, knowledge base it is available that the only body is the institute of internal auditors that is where we would like to talk about the, the the what is the iia and what is the membership and that details relating to that then we will come to the ca examination so uh, with your permission i am just uh, moving my slides so the institute of internal auditors the, inter, uh, the uh, as i told you the the internal audit profession the most widely recognized 
advocate, advocate, educator, and provider of standards, guidance, and certifications. So I am reminded of the fact about the standards. So international professional practices framework is a standard which is issued by the Institute of Internal Auditors and uh, it is currently being revised. So re revised means on 9th of January, this has been the re revised standards have been approved by the uh, apex body of the Institute of Internal Auditors. Officially, we are launching this on 24th of uh, January. There is a detailed program on that. So afterwards, the, we, we will be also conducting multiple sessions relating to the IPPF, that is Internal Audit Practical, uh, Professional Practices Framework. So it is only body which is providing for the international uh, guidance as in the form of standards, guidance and certification. So we have got two certifications which we issue. One is the Certified Internal Auditor and the second one is the CRMA. CRMA is in the area of the certification is in the area of the risk management. And generally you got to complete first CIA and then you have to go for the CRMA. OK, and again to tell you to become a member. So for example, if you want to become an ICMA or ICI or ICSA for that particular matter, you have to first pass the examination and take a membership. Whereas in the case of IIA, the Institute of Internal Auditors, there is no need that you have to pass an examination to become a member. So you can become a member without passing the examination, without appearing for the examination, without registering for any examination. The moment you are in the area of internal audit, it can give you significant value relating to that. So I'll be talking more about that. So absolutely there is. So the membership has nothing to do with the passing the examination. So many of our members continue to be members. They are internal auditors. They don't have any recognition of the certified internal auditor or the CRMA for that particular matter. And they continue to be our members and they are definitely using all our knowledges which is available because the access to the global database of the internal auditors is available to any member, not necessary. They are a CIA or a CRMA. So the uh, the mission and goals, uh, the submission of the uh, this, uh, uh, I'll be sharing these slides to with you. So absolutely there is no need for taking note of these things. But basically what I wanted to tell you that the pillars of success, that is something that there are three pillars. One is a stronger profession of the internal audit. Competent professional. This is something very, very important. So that is where even the CPE program itself, you know, which uh, WRC is conducting now uh, is the important thing is about the how do you make competent? I'll be talking about that slightly more in detail when I come to the some of the relevant slides, what we are doing on this particular area and sustainable value. OK, so these are the so strong profession, competent professionals and sustainable value. This all of you should know these three pillars of success because that will help you to take it uh, this one because whatever we are going to do today or whatever we are doing today is only to make the pro, uh, the all the internal audit professionals competent and so that our profession can be stronger and we can always give a sustainable value so the all these foundation stone is uh, the the uh, the for competent professionals okay so instead of internal auditors the global statistics we have got about 235000 plus members 115 plus international affiliates, 190,000 plus CIAs, and 170 countries, territories. So there are branches, there are international affiliates and territories. There are multiple ways of doing it. That is why 115 international affiliates. So India is an international affiliate with the IAA Global. Okay. But many countries may not be affiliate. Okay. So we, we have presence across the globe. The Asia Pacific number is. 43,000 plus 23 affiliates. So it includes the, the entire Asia, including Australia. And it is an international certification. That is the most important thing. So ICA is one of the best, but rather I was, uh, I, I uh, and ICW as well for that, because these are one of the most toughest examination in the world. And we all have passed this examination. So at the same time, when I was working with the Deloitte, uh, I was part of the US operations. And uh, they recognize only CPS. And they, so we, we were very proud of the fact that, you know, we have passed this C, uh, C examination, most difficult examination. But they were very crystal clear that, you know, uh, Mr. Mogundan, I heard you. I have also read all these things this one. But from our country perspective, we recognize only CPA, nothing more than that. So then we had to have, we, most of the people uh, like me, those who appeared for the CPA, 
and pass the examination and they were very more than happy to you know give all the responsibilities relating to a a, a qualified cpa so what i would like to why i uh, stop talk started talking about this is only because of the fact that you know you, you that an international certification is is very important for in such cases so international certification is caa so i am in internal order for quite some time but i got the caa certification only in 2010 so subsequent to that and prior to that my journey has a lot of difference so as a caa we if you are a internationally certified so i took up the global position at my previous company uh, i was uh, when I, i traveled almost 50 plus countries as part of my job role uh, in the previous country so wherever i go if i tell them i am a uh, chartered accountant they don't understand if i talk to the miami cpa from us they have heard about it not that uh, you know they but still they don't understand but the moment i tell them that i am a cia okay certified internal auditor okay i know so i am so is certified or so when i travel to uk africa or latin america or canada or uh, north america everywhere they all recognize what is a cia but not necessary many of them they don't know though icai is very popular and it has a largest body of the accountant uh, in india but many other countries they may not know us but the moment you have an international certification there are definitely people who can always bank on you for the internal audit so that is the advantage of the when you go for a certification in india we have got about 4900 people plus members there are we have six chapters and 12 audit clubs and so we are we, as you can see we you can see uh, at the bottom at the coimbatore and uh, on the north it is in ludhiana and in east it is gohati and west it is bombay so everywhere we are spread so th- this is the statistics relating to that now the benefits of the belonging to the becoming a, a member of the iia is that first and foremost is the networking and uh, connecting so i have already showed you the number of members what we have i am not talking too much about it the savings and discounts which i am talking about that is for all the members uh, the all the publications are available at a concessional price whether it is conference or whether it is webinar whether it is many of these things so there are significant discounts on savings and discounts and i'll be talking slightly more india specific discounts so whatever i am showing you in this slide this is available globally to everyone india specific some of the discounts i will be talking in subsequent slides uh, and that also you can avail uh, and as I, as i mentioned to you it is not mandatory that you pass any examination to become a member if you are part of the internal audit please feel free to join us immediately volunteering and contributing that is you can become our member once you are becoming a member you can always part of the our the initial stage of our contribution is you can be a volunteer other than the member so volunteer means you can become volunteer for any part of the activity it may be a conference activity it may be membership activity or it may be any other specific activity which you are interested uh, it may be women forum and so on so we have an excellent women women forum in in our setup then contributing of course automatically you can contribute so and you will also grow in the stages so you become a volunteer you can become a bog member and within the dog there are uh, uh, different positions like treasurer secretary vice president joint secretary senior president vice president president and everything so all these things are available to you and i always tell for even this is available for even when the, the, the your cost accountants as well so when you take an official position in any of the organizations like the whether it is an icma or iia or icai like this voluntary positions so you are learning much more than any other organization any other position so this i will tell you i was a vice president i was secretary i was chairman the learnings when you take up this position are extraordinary because in all other organizations you talk to a subordinate or you talk to your boss there in organizational hierarchy is given to you a structure is already in place so the relationship is established it may whether it may be an implied relationship or express relationship but irrespective of all these things you are part of a structure if you are a senior manager you are a manager or if you are a deputy manager below you then there is a dgm or agm above you and so on so and the hierarchy based is working when you work in an organization whereas in a voluntary organization getting the things done from the volunteers without having any formal authority you will be learning all these things of course this is possible in icmai and as well as for the other uh, the organization like iia so this is something which you should not miss 
in ICMA as well as IAA or any other organization for that particular matter. This is a great learning which you can always happen. Learning and leading, so which is you already know about it because you, you will have a lot of training facilities available for particularly for the Institute of Internal Auditors as on date. Every week we are conducting a webinar and uh, we also have multiple other programs like, uh, you know, something called Global Training Module and I'll be talking more about that. Of course, leading that you can also be a trainer for that particular matter. You can write in our magazine and uh, certifications. I talked to you about CMA, CIA and CRMA and internal audit foundation. Also, you can learn and uh, there's, there's another non as I think I forgot to mention to you that uh, we are a non-profit organization. Globally, also we are a non-profit organization. In India, also we are a non-profit organization. Of course, all other aspects which I have talked about that. The standards and guidance I talked to you about the IPPF, which is the new framework is coming on July 24th is our official release. 9th of January, this has been already approved. So now the IPPF will be known as a global internal audit standards uh, standards and there are mandatory guidance and recommended guidance and other things are available. So each of these ones, the moment you become a member, each member will be allocated a uh, a, a login ID against you and you will be able to log in with the login ID to, uh, to access our knowledge base. So that is where it is. If you are working in a big four accounting firm, generally most of them have their own e, uh, modules which are available to you uh, and you can always get access to their own uh, knowledge base. But if you are working in industry, you don't have any that sort of advantage. And even when a big four accounting firm is creating that sort of e-learning processes. It is all taken from the standards and other things which is issued by the I, uh, IAA, okay, from particularly on the internal audit side of it. So I will strongly recommend those who are working in the internal audit area because you do not have any access to the any knowledge base other than the global database which is available to you from the IAA. So no other body can give you this uh, access specifically on this one. And just to give you that, so I in a last week or 10 days ago, the, the, the new knowledge center has started on the AI for internal auditors, artificial intelligence for the internal auditors. So they are they, they have opened a new knowledge center in the area of, of how the artificial intelligence can be applied in the area of internal audit. So these things are available to you if you are becoming a member and you can log in and you can see, you can apply on all these things. So the moment anything comes in the global database that is accessible to you, whichever part of the world you are. So that is the advantage of becoming a member of the IIA. Some of the memberships, by well, the moment you log in, these are the about uh, five, six uh, knowledge center where you can access the internal audit learning archive webinars. So you can get a smart brief is something which uh, comes every week. Uh, knowledge centers are available, additional research and reports are available. Torn at the top is something about the control consciousness and the COSO framework. The resources, multiple things are available. Most of these resources are free for the members. And even if you have to pay for the membership, a member, any of these specific publications, there is a concessional pricing is available for that. But that is available under the bookstore. And whatever here it is available, most of them are available to the members. And of course, there are some non-members publications, but that is very, very minimum. So I will always urge you, if you are a part of, if you are not a member till this time, please take the membership. And I will also tell you more about that. So we are continuing the membership benefits. You know, the, the there is a global benchmarking tools, which I am referring to about the, uh, uh, the, the, the global benchmarking is about the internal audit department. So this is applicable for any chief audit executives. Any one of you are chief audit executives. Please feel free to send me a message. I will be able to send you this global benchmarking tools and the idea of global benchmarking tool to participate. There is no need that you have to become a member. It is talking about what are the staff strength? What are your report, report relationship? How much money you are spending on the training and so on about the your internal audit department? So if you are in a automobile industry, so you will be once you give this data to the IIA, IIA if uh, the moment they get enough number of databases relating to the automobile industry from a particular geography like India, they will, they can share you the free report which has uh, give you a macro level idea where do you stand amongst the other industries. So and this is given to you free, free of cost. 
So that will give you a global benchmarking. If I am working in a, as a chief audit executive in an automobile company, if I participate in the survey and give my, my email ID at the end of it, it is optional for you to give your email ID. Once it is given, you will get a free report as when the enough number of participants are there from the same industry and in the similar geography. So then till that time you will also it is not that you submit today and you will get an immediate response that this is the report for you. So you and finally you will be able to get a benchmarking. You should be able to do that particular activity. Global mentorship program. So there is a global mentorship program available for any members. You can either become a mentor or mentee depending upon your experience. And uh, generally they may try to give you in the same geography time zones at least. So sometimes it may so happen that you want to become a mentor or mentee from India. You may get somebody from another country. It may be where they are. Of course, it will be English speaking countries or they will be at least speaking in the sense that the person who is allotted to you as a mentor or mentee, it will be an English speaking person. And uh, that will also become a reason. Suppose if you want to become a mentor, many of you are very senior people. So you can become a mentor. So you'll be mentoring somebody in the United States and not in the United States because it's a different time zone. So it may be UAE or in the Malaysia or in the Philippines. So you can imagine and same thing can happen if you are a mentee. So this is a program available. Of course, these things are open only on the time specific time basis. Exclusive Women Forum. I talked to you about this earlier. We have a vibrant WhatsApp group exclusively for the members and these for the professional related matters. These discussions are available. Vibrant WhatsApp group exclusive industry and knowledge groups which we are about to build up. So we have not yet started this, but we are going to have this. So there will be a separate segment for the VFSI. There will be a separate segment for the, uh, uh, the, the risk management. There will be something for the uh, general group for the internal control, uh, IFC and so on. So uh, people who say has questions and answers on those who are specializing on somebody is only a, a, if it's an internal auditor and mainly working on the risk management area. So he or she can become a member of that exclusive group as well. Webinar and training program. So currently every Saturday I told you that we, we have a program webinars and each of these member programs are priced about 1000 rupees per uh, webinar per member. Non-member it is 1500 and the beauty of this program is that out of this 24 programs that is two programs in a month are free for our members so through a coupon mechanism so generally there is a coupon which you give the coupon and this is available only to the members so if you are not a member of iaa uh, please take a membership so the value of this program itself is uh, 24000 rupees so the, the membership charges currently are uh, the, I, I can talk about that at this juncture uh, though, though, though it may not be uh, there, there may be a separate slide for that our membership charges are only currently as I speak to you because there is a change from 1st of April. It is 4000 rupees and 1500 rupees as an entrance fees. And uh, so it is only 5500 rupees the first year. Second year onwards, it is only 4000 rupees. From 1st of April, there is an increase in the membership fee. It is 500 rupees. There is an increase in entrance fee also. There is an increase by 500 rupees. So 30,000 rupees increase. Entrance fees is available payable only once in your lifetime, not beyond that. So if you are becoming a member after 1st of April, you have to pay 1000 rupees extra. So I will recommend that you can take a membership now and it is valid for one year time and absolutely no other thing. You will save about 1000 rupees and by paying 5500 the first year and subsequent year 4000 and you are uh, going to get a value of webinar worth 24000 rupees. So the, it, it is a uh, game which, which which is worth trying for you. Attractive referral program like linking discounts to annual conference. So any if you are already a CIA member, IAA member, not the sorry CIA, no, IAA member, if you get another member, we are giving a 5% discount on the, your annual conference charges. So we, Bombay, we have an annual conference which is happening. So and uh, rather Bombay, uh, Chennai, Bangalore and Calcutta, all these uh, annual conference have been already announced. So if you are coming through going for a uh, you are able to refer the people. So if you refer 20 people, your annual conference expense is free. That is to, and you have not kept any ceiling for that. So 5% per the referral what you will get so long the moment he or she takes the membership. Significant savings by becoming a member through the India compared to so any other country in India. We have a concessional membership USA, Canada, Europe or Australia. Everybody they, they have to pay more if you are operating from that country and uh, for the corporate benefits, uh, if you are a 
company yeah, from where which you want to take a corporate membership. This, till this time, we have been talking about the, the individual membership. So a testament of your board division. So we are giving the members of corporate members have been classified into four categories. Platinum category where we have got 101 members plus and 51 plus 51 to 100. It is gold category and it is uh, 26 to 50. It is a silver category and below 20, 25 and below are ordinary members, ordinary corporate members. So that is something which is available and these certificates are the, the testament of your bold vision of the corporate governance. This will be the certificate of premium membership will be given to you in the confer annual conference on the stage. So it is a matter of prestige and it is about the vision of your corporate governance. When you go to the audit committee, you say that I am a platinum member, a premium member of IIA that is going to get a, give you a lot of weightage because this cannot be purchased by giving money. So this can be purchased only when you have 101 people member, those who are part of the IIA and they take regular courses like webinars and trainings and this one. So they have a you have a well trained team. That is what is the expectation. The, the significance of this membership is not that you pay. It is if it is a sponsorship, you pay money and you can buy a sponsorship. But these certificates indicate that you have a strong profession of internal audit within your company. And when you go to the audit committee, it means that you have 100 plus people. If you are a platinum certificate holder, those who are regularly trained through webinar conferences, CAE roundtables and a, a non international knowledge base is available to them. That is what it is meant. Display of name in the website of the IAA India. So IAA India will specify the names of there will be a listing of all the premium corporate members stand an annual conference. There will be a separate standee with the names mentioning of all these corporate uh, premium corporate members. And the advantage of a corporate member is that you should be able to replace one member with another member. So somebody has changed the role from internal audit to say finance or any other person and you are getting a finance person to your internal audit department. You don't have to pay anything. So simply change the replace the person with the other this one. If the individual member means the membership goes along with the person where, wherever he or she moves, whereas in the corporate member, the membership is with the company. It is a company's choice whom you have to add the members and who has to delete the members or replace the members. So that always will be available to you. Uh, we also plan to have a, re a recruitment portal which will happen uh, at an appropriate time. So we also for a platinum member, we, we will have a one day on site training and I will be talking about that uh, about global training module based trainings out of that uh, how this can be given. So this will be given at their place and they can or we can also conduct to dedicated <coughs> you have to excuse me for a minute i'll just take it some water Apologies for the inconvenience. I am back and I am. so online webinars. There will be dedicated webinars over and above our weekly webinars for them. If you are a gold member, we will uh, one day on site training for them as well. And again, uh, one online webinar will be conducted for them. And uh, silver member, one uh, online webinar specifically designed for their need. In all these cases, it is specifically designed for their need. Uh, so this will be available to them. <clears throat> So other financial benefits, so corporate airline fares. So any of you have got the, your travel needs other than your corporate, your company, whatever is providing. You can always come to our web. Uh, uh, the, the, all the members can come to our website. We have an exclusive travel portal for any of the travel needs. You, your family members, everything you can book in and you can you will be able to use these things. Uh, so when you use for a corporate fare, means you will get a lower fare, you will get a free seating and you will get a free meal and negligible or nil cancellation charges. So today, if you are booking a ticket for any of your needs, other than your official travel of from which you are paying from your company, if you are a practitioner, again, this will be of much use to you and you will be able to book a, a ticket at a corporate fare. The fare will be lower, free seating, free meal and nil or cancellation charges. I was told by one of our member that 
uh, he paid 18,000 rupees as cancellation charges because he or she has to reschedule one of the can the, the Delhi, I mean, Goa trip, uh, you know. So by paying around 4,000 rupees of your annual membership, the value of the travel benefit, what you get. Because otherwise, if you go for any other, whether it is a uh, make my trip or anything, minimum charges, they will be 1,500 for a cancellation. So you can imagine that how it will be the loss what you are incurring. By becoming a member of IIA, you will be able to get this facility. We also tied up with the vehicle manufacturers, uh, Honda, Kia, MG Motors, Koda and Volkswagen and Maruti uh, for exclusive membership discounts. So if you are an IAA member, you will have be also advantage of uh, getting this. We also have a student membership. This is mainly for the CA firms or the practitioner firms in, the, in this particular area. That is, they will be able to take a 2500 rupees, that is 2000 is the membership charges and 500 rupees. There also there is an increase of 500 rupees from 1st of April. You will be able to save that if you are taking the membership now. So this is applicable only those who are the student member, those who are pursuing CA, SWBA and so on. And uh, if they are in the employment, this facility is not available. But if they are student, then they are there. But they, in all practical purposes, they will be equivalent to our member with their voting right, their access to the knowledge base. So this is only a concession to encourage the students to become our members. So I am not spending much time on this particular area. So this I talked to you about uh, the, the so it includes the cost accountancy, postgraduate courses and so on. So this is something which is available to every one of them. So global capability centers are very common in India. So they, 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 all the big four accounting firms have GCCs. Many other corporates have uh, GCC global capability delivery centers. So we also have the these because most of them are from international arena means CA certification is something very common for them and existing part members we can always do for that particular area. So I am not talking too much about this particular because this may not be very relevant for you unless you are coming from a GCC. And if you are GCC, please uh, get in touch with me. I can have a separate session for them. This I wanted to talk about our global training module, and this is also I want to something very unique with the Institute of Internal Auditors. Here I my question to you is that how many of you invest uh, you invest money for yourself? So here I am asking a question. If you are in your company investing money for yourself in the sense that for as a matter of for discharging your day to day as an internal auditor, how much money you spent? So this is something which I am propagating today. As for my information, that we as an internal auditor are spending negligible money. Many cases it is nil money. We are spending negligible money on our own. So if you buy a today a software, and I am talking to you and assuming that you are a uh, strong negotiator, I think you will get a AMC, which is annual maintenance charges or 15%. So if you buy a, uh, a software for the ordinary software say 10 lakhs rupees which is a uh, entry cost of a uh, an internal order like metro like bombay okay how much money you are spending uh, on yourself so if you go for a software where the spending is 15 percent is the amc assuming you are a strong negotiator so if you are spending one and a half lakhs rupees over you for training then i can understand that at least you are spending some money for that you know so as for my information, after took over this seat for the for, for seven, eight months, we don't spend enough money on this. And we are our period of time, our uh, the proportion to the expenditure, uh, to the, the cost of the employee has significantly lowered because everybody do a cost cutting and people don't even realize that what is the value we are lost because we are not training ourselves. And this is where one of the biggest problem. So many of my uh, good friends, how spend enough money on this particular area they all have known as ex, uh, you know global international uh, internal auditors but many of our and they all earn a seat but many other people demand a seat but they don't earn a seat at the table and so earn a seat means are you able to sit with the chairman of the company are you getting, getting a direct reporting responsibility to the chairman of the company are you able to meet the promoters of the company so all these things can happen only when you there is a caliber within the internal auditors. So with this objective, to make the stronger professional, the, the, the competent professionals, that is where the Institute of Internal Auditors globally has come with a global training modules. So it is designed globally, it's a high, extraordinary high quality content that is because with the collective wisdom of the global wisdom, it has been used. 
comprehensive gates a participant will get about 100 plus pages even for a four hour or eight hour session you will get a participant guide with 100 plus pages because if you attend a webinar or a ppt or a webinar like this after your lunch or tea break you forget what is told so here you can go back and in a, in a good quality material you your absorption level is generally about 20 25 percent remaining 75 percent or 80 percent you can absorb and you refer back your material so we give the comprehensive and all these things are coming from the iia global so the collective wisdom, the investment of time, money and energy which is spent is on is very much on the higher side. So the facilitators also support. They get a detailed facilitator guideline for this. There is a standard presentation which comes with copyrighted presentation. There is an international methodology of delivery. There is an expert faculty. So we these faculties are drawn from the experienced faculty. They are not the academicians. Uh, flexible options, you know, so if you have got about 25 people plus, we always recommend even to 15, 15 plus any day, any people if you have got. We always recommend that you conduct a dedicated sessions for the team. And uh, yeah, so all these things are in the internal audit matters. And it has nothing to do with a specific industry. These are the general topics on which you have this sort of program. So uh, if you have 15 plus people, we can conduct dedicated sessions at your premises. If you are less than 15, we conduct our program as per the schedule, which you can come to the IAA website. And IAA website will be giving IAA India website. So website our IAA India dot co is a website name. Anybody can go through that and you will have a upcoming training programs and you will be able to see what are our global training module based programs exclusive offering. So this is at least to my knowledge. There are no other organization which gives out sort of this sort of global training modules. So you will get the what you can get from the uh, our global training module in depth knowledge, audit risk reduction, enhanced productivity, peace of mind, governance, comfort and uh, talent attraction and strategic focus. So governance comfort is particularly as an internal auditor offer confidence to the independent directors, nominee directors and statutory auditors. So that is where when you go as when I mentioned that your silver premium certificate is a testament of your governance. So that indicate that 25 people of your internal audit department are the members of the IAA and they are expected to get free programs, uh, paid programs and so on. And you have a training program according to that. So that is where it gives a governance comfort for the from the promoter side as well as for the other stakeholder side. So these are the subjects on which you know we have got the global training uh, modules for the year 2024. Advanced risk based auditing, agile, audit, agile auditing, assessing ethics in your organization. Assessing ethics organization is happening uh, next week. Uh, there is a session happening on that. So if anybody is interested, you can always join the, that session is already scheduled. Auditing at the speed of innovation. So this is we are these are the new one which is introduced. Auditing the data privacy policy. These are again yet to come. Uh, that is we are not received the delivery of uh, 2024 these uh, materials. But we'll be getting this in building a sustainable quality programs, communication skills for internal auditors, interviewing and negotiating, critical thinking. So this is something extraordinarily important for uh, all our auditors. Without that, you will not be able to do it. So, but many of us are not even aware that okay, you need to have something a critical thinking to become a good auditor. Developing audit observation, another ex uh, excellent program on this. All these programs are coming from the global. We only deliver deliver these programs in the in line with the guidelines. So there is a and we always expect you to become a, a physical program instead of coming on an online program because that only will give you the best value out of this and you will get a reference material. Even once you go back to your office, you will be able to do that. The continuing the list of the courses, enterprise risk management, ethically mastering the global internal audit standard this is the new one, which is uh, which will be available only after January 24. Uh, 24th of January. Uh, financial auditing for internal auditors, fraud auditing, fundamentals of internal uh, compliance auditing, fundamentals of cyber security auditing, fundamentals of internal auditing. Uh, I think it has come twice. Fundamentals of IT auditing, fundamentals of risk based auditing, and uh, intermediate IT auditing, uh, the, the, the uh, navigating the global internal audit standards. I think this has also come again. Uh, operational auditing, performance of an effective quality assessment, root cause analysis and enhancing the internal audit effectiveness, tools for audit managers and tools for lead managers. These are some of the, the so how just to give you a, a feel, look and feel of the things, fundamentals of risk based internal audit, which, which came in earlier. So it, it is a 16 hour program. So that is a two full day program. 
we generally uh, deliver this in a four hour schedule when we are delivering from online. So I do not recommend online program. So wherever you are more than 15 plus, we can do a physical program for you. The volume of the participant get is 171 pages. So you can imagine that how comprehensive this is the from completeness point of view. So other things I am not reading it out in the interest of time so that we have got enough time for the question answers. So uh, the uh, other subjects I have already talked about that, but we will be able to give you. I will be sending this presentation to the organizers and they will be able to circulate these things. Now I am coming to the CAA examination. So this is something so as per the still this time I was talking about what is IAA and what is the membership details and what are the membership uh, benefits which is available to you. So we offer two certifications. One is a certified internal auditor and the other one is CRMA. Now uh, certified internal audit examinations can be done uh, in two ways. Uh, one is the regular examination. So two uh, in 2010 when I appeared for the examination, there was only one way of appearing for the examination. Uh, so that is what there are three parts examination, three papers I have to appear. Each paper I can appear at as per my convenience and within three years you have to complete the examination and also you are required to get an experience certificate. So experience certificate means to become a that is required. There are two separate elements. One is that you pass the examination and other one is you become a certified internal router. You get a certificate for that. So certificate has two elements. So one is the passing the examination and other one is you complete the required experience. If you are a graduate, you need to have two years of experience in the internal audit. And if you are a postgraduate, you need to have minimum of one year experience in the internal audit area. So this is generally which has to be certified by your supervisor that he or she has that particular certificate. So after passing the examination, once you apply for the membership, this certificate is the integral part of that. Once he or she certifies, then they will process your certificate. So the second methodology is a CAA challenge examination. Currently for the uh, ICMAI people, this facility is not available. So uh, and that is why I do not recommend you to wait for that this particular examination. So you wait for the currently you can if you are excited about the internal auditor, if you are a career internal auditor, please feel free to go for this examination immediately without waiting for any uh, uh, any any other things to happen because currently the syllabus what is happening it is about the 2024 IPPF syllabus is will be applicable in 2025 the new syllabus will come relating to the IPPF that is IPPF 2025 uh, the, the, which is being released now so I do not recommend for you to wait for on a, for account of the CAA certification if you have made up your mind. So I am now uh, talking probably some of these things I have already talked to you earlier that it is a globally certified internal and uh, certification. So whether you go to Europe, you go to Canada, you go to North America, everywhere this is applicable. So IPPF International Professional Practice State Framework is the standard uh, of uh, the IAA, which is globally accepted from that particular point of uh, point of view. So when once you get a certification, you are able to audit engagement you are able to do in according to the conformance of the inter in the, the, the IPPF standards. Then organizational governance apply tools and techniques automatically. The expectation of a CIA is that the certificate examination itself indicate that it is a testament that you have acquired enough knowledge and pass the examination indicate that you are able to apply all these knowledges on your day to day life. OK, and you also get the practice because minimum is one year for a postgraduate and otherwise it is a two year postgraduate uh, if you are not a postgraduate. So why become certified? These are the surveys which has been conducted because it is the value is proven. So according to the IAA survey, 94 percent find the CAA has a value over CPA, CA, CSA or CFE. If you are an internal auditor, 94 percent of them have found that yes, you have a get a higher uh, a proven value for that particular this one. So the next survey indicate that according to the IAS 2018 North American place internal order survey, 84% believe the CIA brings value to their internal order work and 70% of the chief audit executives say that they prefer to hire candidates with their CIA designation. So that is the another compelling reason for you to do go for a CIA. OK, and the third one is about the compensation. OK. 
once uh, so internal audit commerce and study indicate that CAA earn about 30,000 more annually than those of uh, the 30,000 dollars which we are talking about. So it is a much more money of uh, that uh, from that particular moment of uh, point of view. So with that is what you know, there are these three values what we are talking about. One is the how the you are pursued as an internal auditor. It significantly changes when you acquire a CAA certification. And uh, definitely the people, those who are the recruiters of the uh, internal audit professional always believe that CAA definitely adds value and compensation side also it definitely it commands a premium in the in these things. So that is where you are able to do. So the the, the nutshell, it is the ethics, education, exam and experience. So this is what you know, once you do all these things, you will be get. So that is a reason, compelling reason for you to go for it. CAA certification so long as you are a part of the internal audit profession. Now these are the entry requirements. I some of these things I have already talked to you. So you have to complete the passing the examination plus the required number of years of experience within three years of your registering for the examination. So today you became a to just to give you an explanation. Today you become a member of uh, IAA and you register for your examinations, for example, on 31st of March 2024. So from today you have become a member of IAA, absolutely no issues relating to that. But the registration of the examination starts on 31st March 2024. Within three years from that, you have to complete the examination plus get the required experience. In some of the your cases, you may have already got the experience at this particular moment in time. So then you don't have to uh, go for additional experience. So examination, the experience can be prior to the examination or subsequent to the examination. So there is no compulsion for that. Those who are already in the internal order field, this problem will not arise. Now this is related to the fees. Of course, all these things are available to you. Now, 1st April 2020, 2024 onwards, our India membership will change. Which is mentioned in the INR. These are the India membership. I have already explained to you about these ones. And uh, if you are from USA or any other uh, country, your membership of the country, local country is much higher. In India, we have always get a advantage on this one. And most of this money goes to IAA to get your IAA magazine. So because we pay significant money out of this for the purpose of your uh, global membership charges as well as for the cost of the magazine what you pay. So hardly we uh, the administration is managed through other means. Uh, CAA examination application fees part one, part two, part three. So you can see the non member and member charges and within the member itself in IAA India member cost are the least. If you are part of the any other, if you are paying from Dubai, then you need to pay much more. Now there is a, uh, a we have a portal called CCMS after taking the membership. There is a global portal. You have to log in and you know do the relevant, relevant particulars in the IAA portal for this particular activity so that you will be able to do and everything is online. So you pay through your credit card and you get the start. The things will start moving on then then and there. And then our examinations are conducted by the Pearson, which is a globally recognized agency. Anytime you can schedule the examination and you can appear for the examination. These are the syllabus details. Once I sent you these details, you know, you should be able to go through it. I am not running through the, the, these areas separately, but various components of, uh, you know, foundations of the internal auditing is 15%, independence of the is 15% and so on. So you can imagine. So part one, this is uh, the, the examinations uh, syllabus. And this part two, this is the examination syllabus. I am not taking time. And uh, part three, business knowledge and internal auditing. Part three is the most difficult uh, task. So we, we expect that. So I again, uh, those who are appearing for the examination, whether today or even after some time, I will tell you that this is not an easy examination. So even the our the qualified chartered accountants, our passing rate is only about 40 percent. No, that doesn't mean that it is difficult than the CA examination. The reason currently that most of these people, those who appear currently for the CA examination, they are already employees in some company. They have got their own day to day commitments for their work and most of them are married. So married means they have got their family. They have got their kids. So they have got a lot of distractions like this, their family, their work pressure. And of course, today, social media, cricket and so on. So all these things are also there. So 
uh, the so currently the passing percentage is 40 percent only because of that not because of it is that difficult more than the CA examination so because many of our examination people are from ICDM, ICDM MA background as well as from the, uh, the the CA background but still the examination percentage is 40 percent so one way of looking at it is that 40 percent is passing and that is a good sign but 60 percent is failing that is a negative side of it that means it is not because it is difficult uh, it, it is it can't be passed uh, by a charter accountant it is only because of these people are not able to put enough time energy and focus for appearing the examination then what happens is they go for the second time of course they pass the examination because there is a pinch of money what they are spending for the second time there are some cancellations these are the rules and regulations relating to that so again when i am sending you these details you will be able to do this these, these things so uh, CAA is a certification which needs to be renewed every year. You have to pay. A, there is a small fee of $30 for doing that. But again, this fee is much lower than the ISACA certifications or the ACFE certification. So uh, from that particular point of, uh, point of view, it is a non-profit organization. The, the, this money, whatever is being collected, it is, uh, it is from a non-profit organization point of view and it's only to take care of the administrative expenses for managing these things. These are some of the phone numbers. Again, I will be sharing this, uh, these things with you. So nothing to be, uh, you don't have to note down and uh, they will be circulating this video. So these are the things which I wanted to talk to you today. And uh, now the, uh, I'm open to any sort of questions from your end. It may be an internal audit area. It may be membership area. It may be IAA area, CIA or student membership or whatever it is. So now over to you, everyone for the questions. And uh, I'll be more than happy to give you the answers. Thank you. Sir, uh, for the CIA exam, will there be any coaching provided or do we need to do a self-study? Thank you very much. Thank you for asking this question. Uh, and I am ha very happy that you asked this question. And uh, this will also clarify the questions of uh, in the mind of many other people. So to answer you, we can have a uh, coaching for this particular provided um, the number of members are coming at a, at a certain number of people are coming on this. So uh, at this particular moment in time, if we, we also have online coaching available for with this uh, multiple, or we have something called learning partners. So they conduct uh, the, the, the these programs. So these learning approved learning partners are available on our website. They are our authorized okay. learning partners. They conduct this program. It is available to you. But if there is a dedicated organization which is coming at least about, say, 40, 50 people, then IAA can directly also conduct these uh, sessions because we had conducting these sessions for uh, some of the government organizations. So they have taken a special, uh, they, we have entered a memorandum of understanding with them and they will be, they, they have take, given our uh, dedicated sessions for them. Okay, thank you, sir. Any other questions? Sir, yes. Uh, in in your presentation, uh, you had explained about many courses which will be started in two thousand twenty-four. So, uh, I mean, are these uh, different courses other than the CIA exam? Yeah, yeah. Th thank you for asking oh. this question. So, again, uh, for the benefit of everyone, so this is nothing to do with the examination. These courses are. Every year, it is a so as I, I was talking to you about the AMC, that is annual maintenance contract for a machine or a software. So whether as internal auditors are we doing investing uh, enough on each one of us? That was the question which I asked you. So one of the way of doing investing on ourselves is undergoing training programs. 
So we have got global training modules program. So 2024, the list which I shared with you or shown you in the screen. These are the uh, programs which are available for anybody, whether they are a member of IAA, non-member of IAA. So we can conduct th these programs are available to you. If you have a big enough organization and with a big internal department, we can conduct these sessions, dedicated sessions for you at your place. We have approved faculties for that. And uh, the other uh, programs are we conduct. We also conduct if you are a smaller organization, there are only four people, five people, 10 people. And out of that also only a few of them wanted to undergo this training. Not that everybody is because somebody is a beginner, somebody is an advanced person, experienced person, middle management. Then we can always conduct this program as we are. We are scheduling this program as part of the IAA's upcoming program. So the next week we are having a program on assessing the ethical aspects of an organization that is available to you. So this is uh, nothing to do with the CIA examination to answer you the, the question. OK, thank you. Sir, this side, he is a Mihir, we are secretary of WRP. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please. Why, why it's a Bombay chapter, not a Mumbai or other chapter? Yeah, yeah, good question. So thank you for asking this question. So as per our uh, Constitution of India, uh, Constitution of the chapter. So again, let me take a little bit more history about it. So the structure of our organization is that uh, IAA India, IAA Global is the topmost body, which is based out of USA. In India, we have got an organization called Institute of Internal Auditors India. And I am the chief executive officer of the Institute of Internal Auditors India. Okay. And under India, there are six different chapters are there. Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, Madras, uh, you know, uh, Bangalore and Hyderabad. Now, when the body was formed in Bombay or Mumbai for that particular matter, at that time, the name of the this particular location was Bombay. So the our ch uh, charters, is, uh, our constitution document still says that is for three locations we have a problem. That is uh, rather four locations. So. Bombay is an Institute of Internal Orders, Bombay chapter. So the name is Bombay chapter. It's not, it has not become Mumbai. Okay. The same thing with for our Calcutta. So though the current, uh, the spelling is Kolkata, our uh, chapter is Calcutta, the old Calcutta. Okay. Oh, then uh, for our Chennai also, the, the current name is Chennai. It is Madras okay. chapter. Okay. And Bangalore also, it is the Bangalore chapter. It's not Bengaluru. You know, okay. so it, so though the names have undergone changes because our constitution still it is in the because the constitution the place is part of the constitution the name is part of that okay so thank you for asking this question thank you sir thank you so much sir this is there any question uh, yeah. Uh, please, please. Sir, this uh, CIA certification, I mean, uh, is it advisable for uh, freshers or uh, uh, like me? I mean, I passed out uh, CMA in way back in 2002. So it's 20 years back. Now I want to upskill myself. So, I mean, to whom you would recommend this uh, certification? <laughs> I mean, uh, okay. this could be a weird question for you. <laughs> no, but, no, 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 uh, absolutely not. It's not a weird question. Let me tell you that because I have spent uh, four, de four decades uh, in the internal audit. So I, I was also a beginner at some point in time. And uh, at some point in time, you know, I got experience and so on. So absolutely, it is not a weird question. So let me give you the answer. And again, I, I thank you for asking these questions. It will clear the doubts of many other people also. You have been vocal. I'm very happy about it, but others are not <laughs> very you. vocal. You know, so it is a compliment to you. Uh, <coughs> so the way in which I look at this program is like this. So as a cost accountant, you know, today, if you have decided that your career is going to be in the internal auditor, then you should go for a CAA certification. Suppose you today you are in, you, you, as a beginner because those days, so I pa passed out in 85. So uh, 85 November, those days, what used to be the large big companies like Hindustan Labor, ITC, Colgate, they have been only recruiting the people, the, the freshly qualified people, whether it is ICWA or CA or anybody, 
they have been recruiting only in the internal audit department. OK, so they spend three years or four years in the internal audit department and subsequently they post them in the other finance taxation, uh, you know, accounting or whichever it is. The reason being once you are trained in the internal audit in the beginning or initially years, so your control aspects are very clear to you. And subsequently, when you work in the your role as a finance person or a taxation person or this one, so you are very clear of the internal audit role. So if you have a career path, you wanted to be in the internal audit, irrespective of the fact that you are a beginner, you are a middle management, or you are an experience, or even if you are a going to retire, you know. So I would retire a sacrament. All such people, those who have decided to take the, their internal audit as a career, all of them to go for a CA examination. If you are uh, tenure in the, the this department is only two years or three years, no, then not necessary you have to become a certified internal auditor. But even for all such people also, I will strongly recommend that you become a member of IAA, but not necessary you go for the CAA uh, uh, certification because the uh, access to the global database, which is available, the global knowledge base, it is available to use extraordinary. So even to discharge your day to day duties till the time you are in the internal audit department, is extraordinary so that make you a, a, a person who is a, a strong professional competent professional to discharge the uh, your day to day functions so i will always recommend to you to become a member irrespective of the fact that you are becoming a uh, you 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 have chosen only to be a, a two years or three years in internal audit department so and many other organizations were uh, pub particularly public sector organizations they also uh, rotate the internal auditors, so they, they don't have as anybody called a career internal auditors. For them also, there may not be any need that, you know, they go for a certificate, but all career internal auditors, I will recommend uh, to become a CA certification because that really helps. It has helped me and it should definitely help you as well. But if you are a uh, internal auditor uh, going to be there only for a few years, so like two years or three years, and you are going to be posted in other operational aspects, uh go for the membership of iaa not necessarily go for the membership of caa okay sir last question yeah please uh sir you mentioned about the uh, experience uh, after the cia uh, certificate exam okay uh, so what if i don't have any experience in internal audit i mean you can consider my case i am a practicing cost accountant uh, i am mainly into cost audit gst and you know uh, other things but uh, I don't have any internal audit experience. I have a corporate experience. I have our experience in cost audit and all that. Then uh, how, how the things will work? So it is like this. So uh, the experience can be either obtained prior to the examination or subsequent to the examination or during the examination. OK, okay. so uh, my question to you will be like this. If you have no plan to become an internal auditor, you should not even pursue the CA examination because finally, uh, for the sake of fun, nobody does an examination, you know. So you need to get that, that, that because finally you should be able to apply this knowledge. So if you are, yes. uh, if you are becoming, you want to become an internal auditor and you have to pursue that as a career, uh, then you should go for this. If you don't want to pursue, that is you for, for the fun, Examination probably even I would recommend that you know for the purpose of this one. So the expectation that either you have an experience in the past or you have to go for an experience later within okay. three years from the registration examination. Okay, so uh, after passing exams, uh, I should gain experience in internal audit. Yeah, so you, it can be during the examination time also in the okay, sense that during the examination because it's not okay. a full time you, course. Sir. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. So if I'm a practicing professional and I'm doing internal audits now, giving yeah. the CIA exam will give more weightage to, uh, you know, my, me getting more audits. Is that? Uh... So there are there, there are two aspects to it. Let me answer that. So getting the audit is something, you know, how do you uh, pitch in with a customer, uh, you know, your, your client, if you are a practicing yeah. CIA, uh, uh, the cost accountant. So, but when you, if I am evaluating, you are suppose if I am sitting in the audit committee, or if I am this one, so I will, I am coming looking at the profile. 
So if I am getting somebody with a CAA certification, the relevant training and everything, I will definitely go for that particular person if I am getting an ordinary person without a CAA certifications. OK, so that is a higher probability of getting a job. You will be there. That is one side of it. The second one is that your deliverable will speak, start speaking because you will be trained on a but you are upgrading your skills. Your deliverable, the audit report will start speaking. OK, is part of the audit report, a char report. Hai. OK, so that is coming only because of your capability has increased. Your competence level has significantly increased. And once that is increased significantly, you will be able to deliver a far better audit report from that particular point of view. And automatically your uh, the, the subsequent assignments will increase. So that, that I can do even becoming a member, na, sir, because you will be giving there will be a lot of presentations. There will be a lot of exchange of information and latest reporting, etc. In that, for that, is the CIA exam of that much value, or the membership would also be able to uh, give me that yeah. sort of upgraded skills? Okay, again, thank you for asking this question. So it will clarify the minds of many more people. So if I am an audit committee member, if you are a CIA, I will definitely give you a to evaluate whether I can give you a uh, the, the certificate in comparison to another member. So let me put it this way. There are two profile of the firm uh, which has come to me and I have to take a decision that whom to give this particular audit. So one is an IAA member, not a CAA certified. And other person is a CAA certified and auto CAA certified mean automatically he or she is also a member. So I will give more beta to the CAA certified IAA member than that of an IAA member because that person has this is, today the membership can be purchased with a, a little bit of uh, audit experience uh, and uh, this one. So you, 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 it can be purchased with the cost of money. OK, whereas certification cannot be purchased. You have to upgrade your knowledge. It is tested on an international methodology of examination and the certification is awarded to you. So automatically the certification of CAA will give you significant higher level of uh, weightage. <coughs> I hope I cleared you. I, I, I clarified your question. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Wendy Thomas. Uh, sir, uh, myself, Selvaraj. Uh, I'm working in a yeah. small mid sized company turnover around 200 to 300 crore company turnover. In our company, there yeah. is no separate team of internal audit. Uh, but if, yes, I want continue. To, if I want to pursue this course or something like that, will I, my experience will count as a internal audit, certified internal audit team or something like that? Because we, so we are not are, having separate team, but we follow all internal audit policies which we are aware about our, in the educations and we have no, the best practices which we have followed. Understood, understood, Silver Understood, Silver Understood, So let me answer you the question again. Thank you for asking this question. It will also clarify doubts of many more people. And uh, the, the here, the, the way in which it has to be addressed, uh, how the IAA other of certification assessing you, your supervisor will be giving a certificate. He is he or she is experienced in this particular area. So if your supervisor is giving a certificate that yes, the, so it has nothing to do with an internal audit department. OK, he or she has assigned you an internal audit related work and you have been discharging irrespective of your title. You may be a manager of finance or you may be a manager purchase or whatever it is, manager purchase bills or some name or manager taxation, whatever it is. But if so long as he has given you some other work relating to the internal audit and he or she certifies that you are the supervisor, the supervisor of you has certified that you have an internal audit experience that will be considered. So that is the way in which it is. So it has nothing to do with a small company, big company. Uh, there is a dedicated department or not dedicated department. I hope I, I, I cleared you uh, the, the question. If, if still there is clarification, further clarification required, let me know. Thank so you. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, so what is the difference between Chartered Inter Institute of Internal Auditors and uh, Intern Institute of Internal Auditors? So Chartered Institute of Internal Auditors is the, the counterpart of uh, MAMI in, in, uh, in UK. So okay. right from the beginning, so I as I told you that they are also an affiliate of Institute of Internal Auditors of uh, USA, the same body. Okay, okay. Like my name is Institute of Internal Auditors India. Their name is Chartered in, uh, Institute of Internal Auditors or whatever it is that name. 
So you you must be this must be UK body you are referring to, I suppose. That's right. That's right, sir. So, that's so right. they 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 both of both of us are so like in India we have got known as Institute of Mental Orders. They know as uh, in that name in UK. That's all. Otherwise, certificate comes. This examination everything is conducted by globally. In India we don't conduct it. examination. Local centers are available in India. But uh, these things are not, uh, you know, uh, we do not, I do not, as a CEO, I don't conduct any examination here. You are appearing for a global examination. Even in UK, you will appear the same examination, but you are appearing in India. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, Mr. Wendy Thomas. I just asked the question, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Anybody else has so anybody uh, so you can lower your hand so if you, there are no questions, otherwise you can <coughs> ask questions or other if there are no questions, we can always wind up the session. I think there is no question. Any other now. questions? No, as of now, all doubts are cleared. Okay. Shall we conclude, sir? Yes, yes, Pujanka, please. Okay. Thank you, sir. CMA Mihir was our honorable secretary and chairman task force for empowering young CMS. Western India Regional Council, the Institute of Cost Accountants of India. He is a practicing cost accountant and partner in Divan G and Company. He is a MCOM, FCMA, DISA, DFA, ID, and having practical exposure of around 13 years in the field of cost and management accountancy and wide exposure in the area of statutory cost accounting prevailing in India in pharmaceutical and engineering sector. He has also done Diploma in Information System Security Audit, which is post-qualification course after CMA course. He has also done expert study in Diploma in Forensic Audit. He is, he is closely involved in cost audit assignments of PSUs, Fortune 500 companies and few MNCs. Now I request our secretary, sir, to propo kindly propose the OTOP. Thanks. Thank you, Pujanka, madam. Thank you. For my introduction. Good evening, everyone. It has been such an honor to be a part of this wonderful joint webinar with Institute of Internal Auditor. On behalf of PD Committee and the Tax Force for Empowering Young CMA, ICMA WRP, I would like to extend a really hearty word of thanks to our today's speaker, Mr. Mukundan KV, for accepting our invitation on webinar on Internal Audit. The rising professional and the roadmap as CIA for young qualified cost accountant. Sir, today we had an opportunity to hear you, your thoughts and knowledge. This is surely helpful to all the young members and CMA. Thank you so much, sir. Also, I would like like to sing sincere thanks to our Central Council member Chitrandan, sir, for welcome address. CMA Chaitanya Mohire, sir, Chairman of WRC. CMA Arindam Goswami, uh, PD Committee Chairman and Vice Chairman of WRT. Also, I would like to thank Kalpres Modi, sir, for introducing uh, Mr. Mukundan, sir, and all the management committee members of uh, WRT. Finally, I would like to thank all the participants for uh, participating in this uh, IIA uh, webinar. Thank you so much, everyone, for this webinar. So sir, thank you very also, much. Also, also, sir, also I would like to share your presentations for the members. I would request you, sir. Yeah, yeah. So thank you very much. I'll be sharing my presentation. I appreciate everyone's time. So for further details, you can always visit our website iaindia.co. It will be written in the presentation. So once the presentation, I'll send the same email from where the I have received the uh, invitation uh, for the webinar. 
So I'll be sending on the same email and uh, you, will, you can circulate these ones. I will also appreciate if you can uh, send me the email address of the today's participants. So I don't know what is the mechanism. If you have got the membership number where you are granting the CPE and if the email IDs are available, please give the name and CPE uh, and email IDs of these today's participants that will help us to send this, uh, you know, follow up with them if anyone of them are interested to uh, this one. So that will be helpful for us. Sure, sir. Sure. OK, thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye bye. Sir, sir, also, thank you, sir. I would like. Sir, also I would like to invite you for st students conference. If you time is available with you, you can join us at student program also. So when you are going to have a, a webinar for the students or you are going to have yes, a sir, we are sir, there are IOTP training. There are so much training program with the student at WRC. Mm. You can connect with you can join with us in any program if you convenient to you. A any a any time where you have a physical program or only only all these programs are uh, online program? Sir, physical program at the time of the placement, there will be a physical program. At mm. the time of soft skill, there will be a webinar. Okay, okay. So you, I can do the same same webinar for the students as well, provided they are interested. Uh, so uh, it is for you to find out whether they will be excited about it or not. See, sir, uh, finally. Please. Yes, sir, please. Sorry. Finally, they should find a value if they wanted internal audit as a profession they wanted to go. Then we can always discuss about that. OK, but if uh, they themselves are not decided what is to be done, because they are not thought about what is CAA, they don't understand these things, then probably it may not be of much use to them. So uh, find out their interest. If they are interested, I mean, I have no problem because this is my job. OK, yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir in initial speech, Mr. Chitoda, sir, already gave some hint. Yeah, this is one of the core area of course accountant. So um, students are more excited to know about the internal audit. Not all course audit is also part of the one area, but internal audit is also one of the important area nowadays for the CMS. So yeah, Chitranjiti, I fully agree with him and I will tell you the what is because I did not want to officially speak in a forum like this. So I, I am also a chartered accountant, you know. So today the biggest problem with the chartered accountant is that so the earlier that is I'm talking about past prior to COVID. So I was only recruiting chartered accountants and generally they used to be there with the minimum with us for about three years time. OK, afterwards, yes, because sir. the exposure, what they get the market premium, what they command is much higher and because of they work in an international company. They might have traveled at least three, four countries by that time. So it used to be very high. So after three years, we are not able to retain them because their market command premium is very high. We, we cannot give an increment what they are. There. So after three years, they used to leave us and uh, I was always happy about it because in the sense that because we cannot make everybody because at, as a chief audit executive, there is only one chair which is occupied by me, you know, so I can always have one second in command, but I cannot have 10 or 15 people line in command, you know, so that will always yes. create a problem, you know, so they generally go outside. It is a, always a happy situation where they go. But after the COVID, what has happened was the demand for chartered accounts have increased so much. So that we are not able to retain them. Rather, yeah, today it is an inter all the internal auditors complain about that they are not able to retain them at all. So they are hardly there for one year, six months, and anything. So many people know what they are doing that Hamko Because it is a problem, you know, if this person is there only for six months, we spend invest time to train this particular person. By the time this person is trained, he will get okay, sir, Mariko 30% extra mil, 30% extra mil. Okay. So it has become a big problem. So what is a blessing in one way? It has become a problem the other way. So people are nowadays going for ACCAs, cost accountants, and other people, yes, and sir. they are they, they don't have a problem even to go for an MCOM person also. So so that uh, finally they they say that they will the retention level is much higher. Okay. So from that way, cost accountants have a much more privilege because. Finally, I have not found a much difference between CA and ICDA. Let me be it very good. Yes, Only thing is that there is a articleship experience which come for the uh, CA side of it, which may not yes, be there sir. for ICDA. But all these things can be part of the training because it is an equally difficult examination. Yes, you know? sir. So do you have any opening? Pass Sorry? Currently, do you have any opening for CMS at your firm or is institute? So I do, I do not have any because I don't practice. You know, OK, sir, OK, so I am a full time employee of the IAA, so I don't have any uh, this one for that. But in general, 
we we generally uh, in our members group who when we take the membership we have some whatsapp group so generally people okay, membership sir. people there they post about the vacancies you know sir ye sir cma members can take the membership of iia yeah anybody can so that is what i told you you do there is absolutely no restrictions to become a membership okay all of you today there are about 56 people today all the 56 or even those who are not attended today wrc may have around say 10000 members how many members you have yes sir okay 10, so 000. all the 10000 people can become our members uh, without any problem yeah and it hardly cost you it it hardly yes, cost you 4000 rupees in a year the financial benefits coming on that account air ticket ka hi paisa jo ki usse zyada bach jate hain abhi jaise ki ve aap gaadi kharidte hain to uska alag se paisa hota hai and now we are tying up with uh, uh, hindu newspaper we are tying up so we are getting about 80% discount mein jo ki humko jo ki business line paper mil rahe wale hain that we have not yet to announce so that will happen okay. under 10 days or 15 days time so if you go if you subscribe to digital subscription it cost about 2000 rupees per year and we are okay. giving here 999 rupees plus gst mein jo ki hum 3 saal ka subscription de rahe hain 3 saal ka subscription de rahe hain so it is about 80% okay. discount we are giving you know so news finance newspaper is something required for everyone so business line is one of the top most financial newspaper in india and digital uh, subscription hai ho uh, any time anything you can okay. always go through it A- as you go you can watch it you know so yes, there are the value of financial benefit itself nowadays is finally we want you do we don't want you to come for the financial benefit financial benefit is incidental to your knowledge benefits okay we want you to come yes, for the knowledge okay. benefit and of course the employment okay. opportunities and other things will the moment you are becoming a member automatically aap whatsapp group mein rahenge whatsapp group mein rahenge to membership ka posting hote rehta hai and if you are an internal auditor automatically you will be getting these things you know okay yes sir yes sir, definitely sir uh, thanks for information sir thanks for this means sir thank you thank you for asking this question bye 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 sir thank you sir yeah, no. nice. thank you thank you sir thank you